Hi guys, Dave Wilson here again. Now, if you see my video on the Pepe Tools disc cutter, you'll know what a fantastic tool this is for cutting discs and for punching holes. But with the addition of the Pepe Tools alignment dies, what you can do is you can make washer components and this is a great addition to your repertoire. So grab your disc cutter, follow me, let's make some washers. Follow me. So firstly, this is what I mean by a washer component. It's a disc with a hole cut in the centre. Now this can be very thick or very thin, depending on the use and the loot that you want. But in order to make washers, you need to cut two holes. You start with the smaller inner diameter one and punch out the centre. You then move to a larger punch and cut out the outer diameter. And this is where the problem occurs. You need to get the first hole perfectly aligned in the center of the larger punch so that the washer is perfectly equal all the way around and this is very difficult and time consuming to do especially by eye and to be honest you're never really guaranteed accurate results so Pepe's solution are these positioning dies these will help you align everything up perfectly every single time so here's how firstly decide on the two punches that you want to use now you'll cut the smaller one first so do make sure that you allow enough space on your metal to cut the larger one too later. So you might want to make a rough centre mark so you're not too close to the edge of your metal. Align up and punch out the smaller inner hole as normal. Again, check out my other video if you're new to this. Now remove your metal and place it under the larger hole. Screw down the top, but don't fully tighten it. It's important here that your metal can still move a little bit. Get the positioning die that matches the same diameter as the larger hole and the larger punch that you're using. Pop it into the hole, point downwards, and press it down gently. And just whittle your metal a little bit until the punch is seated as low as it will go. Your metal should rotate, but it shouldn't be able to rattle. Now, tighten the thumb screw and lock everything down in place. It's important to note here that the positioning dies are just for alignment, so don't strike them or try to punch with them. Remove the die, insert the punch, and cut as normal. Your punch will go right through, and you will have a perfect washer component with a uniform thickness all the way around. Simple as that. Perfect results every time. Now just a few tips here, if you want to make hammered or textured pieces, the hammering action can distort a washer, especially at the edges. So my tip is texture the metal first and then punch your washers out and that way you'll get a perfect clean edge and a round shape. So great for modern looking earrings, pendants and bracelets combining different sizes and textures. The Pepe Tools positioning dies a must-have addition to the Pepe disc cutter. I've been Dave Wilson, thanks for watching, and I'll see you real soon on the next video. Bye for now.